Welcome back friends with another movie reaction. Today we are watching the 1973 animated film Robin Hood and I'm totally putting one of my editors Helena on blast here but she says that she had a huge crush on Robin Hood in the movie when she was younger. But yeah, I don't know too much about this film other than that he's a stone cold fox. No, like literally he's a fox. I assume there are no humans in this film and I've actually never consumed any Robin Hood media. I know he steals from the rich and gives to the poor and that he uses a bow and arrow, but that's basically it. But it'll be fun to check this out. Uh, full reactions on Patreon if you want to check it out. Hit that like button and let's get started. Robin Hood, Little, little John. John. Walking through the forest, laughing back and forth at what the other has to say. Robin Hood and Little John running through the forest, jumping fences, dodging trees, and trying to get away. <laughs> He's running faster than the arrow. You know something, Robin? You're taking too many chances. Chances? Whoa. You must be joking. That was just a bit of a lark, Little John. Little John has the yeah. same voice as Take a look at your hat. Thomas O'Malley. And will probably have a rope around our necks. We'll just sort of borrow a bit from those who can afford it. Borrow? borrow? That implies Boy, giving it back. In debt. <laughs> if you die, you don't have to pay back your debt. Loophole! And how well King Richard's crown sits on your noble brow. And I told you never to mention my brother's name. What happens when his brother comes back? Your idea, I hypnotized him. I know. Hypnotized. him off on that crazy crusade. What? Mother always did like Richard best. What the heck? Wait a minute, there's a law against Robin Royalty. I'll catch you later. What? I missed this <laughs> chance to perform before royalty. Get the dope with your horoscope! <laughs> Don't tell us how droll. They may be bandits. Oh, Bobbycock. Female oh, Bobby bandits, Cook. what next? Oh, Slip it off. how gracious and generous. <gasps> oh, you've hissed your last. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh, that must be uncomfortable. Oh, you want to turn on him at some point? Now <laughs> what? Your name will go down, down, down in history, of course. Yes, I knew it. Oh boy, nobody's noticing this. Oh no. Get away! They robbed you blind. Ooh. <laughs> no, no, no. Seven years bad. Ooh. Luck. Huh? Luck. Bad luck for you. Besides, you broke your mother's mirror. Ah, mommy. It's what with taxes and all the poor folks of Nottingham were starving to death. No, from Robin Hood. <laughs> oh, God bless Robin Hood. Do, 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 do. Well, greetings from your friendly neighborhood tax collector. <laughs> oh, take it easy on me, Sheriff. Come on, Autumn. You'd better sit down and rest. Oh, thank you. The jingling. Ups a daisy. Bingo. Yeah, yeah. Happy birthday to you. Oh, boy. <sighs> One whole barley. Prince John wishes you a happy birthday, too. Um, 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 for the poor. <sighs> well, so wow. Poor old man. <laughs> <laughs> Do come in. But be a stout-hearted little lad and don't let it get you down. Gee whiz! And I've got just the right present for you. For me? <laughs> Arming the... Jeez. <laughs> don't worry. Just handing out weapons to the everyday people. Birthday. Arm the masses! My birthday! I only wish I could do more. Here. And keep your chin up. Someday there'll be happiness again in Nottingham. You'll see. This isn't even like a... There's like no tax code. It's just take everything they have. You're pointing it too high. I'm not either. Watch this. Well, now you can't get it back. Oh, as your lady in waiting. I'm waiting. Oh. Lady Cluck. <laughs> and Marion. Uh-oh. 
hello. Where did you come from? Take it and run. Oh, please don't kill Prince John. Oh, don't be afraid. You've done nothing wrong. Uh oh. Oh, Marion, don't look around. But I do believe we're surrounded. That's May Million. Mama said she's awful nice. Come on. Okay. Mama said you and Robin Hood are sweethearts. You see, that was several years ago before I left for London. Oh, he's probably forgotten all about me. Oh, not Robin Hood. I'd better storm the castle gates. I, Prince John, challenge you to a duel. <laughs> Take that and that. Death to tyrants! <laughs> That's the spirit. Death to tyrants! Ooh. Ooh, that is spot on. Did it hurt you? Huh? No. This is the part where you drag your lady fair off to Sherwood Forest. Well, now what are we gonna do? Well, usually the hero gives his fair lady a kiss. A kiss? Oh, that's sissy stuff. Yeah, well, sissy stuff. Won't. Does she work in the castle? Believe me, someday soon, your uncle King Richard We'll have an outlaw for an in-law. <laughs> what if he's forgotten all about me? As an in-law, so she's related to King Richard. But they're different animals. By by marriage, they're related? I don't know how these things work. Rob. Robin. Robert. <laughs> Robert. Hey! <laughs> Fighting over. You're burning the chow. You don't just walk up to a girl, hand her a bouquet, and say, Hey, remember me? We were kids together. Will you marry me? <laughs> Besides, what have I got to offer her? Well, for one thing, you can't cook. I'm serious, Johnny. She's a high-born lady of quality. <laughs> Old Prince John's having a championship archery tournament <laughs> tomorrow. Oh, you can win that. Archery tournament. <laughs> Maid Marion. Marion. Yeah. <laughs> she she's gonna give a kiss to the winner. <laughs> wow. Kiss to the winner. Yes, indeed, sire. Your plan to catch a Robin Hood in public is sheer genius. Oh. <laughs> Remember, only you and I know. And your secret is my secret. Stop <laughs> Stop hissing in my ear. Yeah. Convincing. Sheriff, you're on Costume. Yeah. Meeting you face to face is a real treat. Uh, Mila, my esteemed royal sovereign of the realm, the head man himself. <laughs> and Suspicious. You, who might you be, sir? I am Sarah. Sir Reginald, Duke of Chutney. Couldn't get a better seat than this, could you? The royal bugs. Oh, hey, hey, wait, what's... Uh, oh, uh... Excuse me, Buster. <laughs> oh. How'd you get inside a balloon? Wouldn't you be breathing carbon dioxide and that wouldn't make you float more? Okay. <laughs> what? Suspend the disbelief, Eric. Begging your pardon, but it's a great honor to be shooting for the favor of a lovely lady like yourself. I hope so I win the kiss. No. Oh. What the? If you shoot half as good as you blabbermouth, you're better than Robin Hood. I'm tip top, all right, but I'm not as good as he is. <laughs> <laughs> They're getting suspicious. I hear you're having a bit of trouble getting your hands on that Robin Hood. Uh -oh. He's scared. Taunting. That's what he is. You notice he didn't show up here today. Oh. oh. With with the string of the guitar. Oh. Remember what you're supposed to do. Yes, what, sir. move out of the way at the last second? Oh, move into it at the last second. Oh, you ass. Oh, no way. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Gave himself away in that moment. Did he take them off? Oh, more appropriately. Ooh. The loser. Please. 
Please. Please, sire. I beg of you to spare his life. Please have mercy. Your pleas have not fallen upon a heart of stone. They die together. The traitors to the crown must die. Traitors to the crown. Ah, off with his head. Oh boy. <laughs> Executioner, stop. Hold your ass. Oh. Big shot. Now tell him to untie my buddy or I'll... Let him go, for heaven's sakes. Let him go. <laughs> Love conquers all. <laughs> sure it does. Just found a new pin cushion. Oh, crap. Why, you... <laughs> Kill him! Don't stand there! Kill him! Don't hurt me! No, no, don't hurt me! Help! Help! <laughs> uh, uh oh. Ooh. What a main event this is! <laughs> <laughs> How did everybody fit in there? Kill him! Kill him! She'd make a heck of a running back. Oh! <laughs> so drunk. You won't believe this, but the stork is really Robin Hood. A little late to this. Time to change allegiances. <laughs> okay, the animation's way too close to what I remember from Jungle Book. He's using the string from the bow. To, oh, that's kind of genius. Because the thing you use to play a violin is also called a bow. I have never made that connection before. He calls for mom and sucks his thumb and doesn't want to play. Too, too late to be known as John the First. He's sure to be known as John the Worst. <laughs> it's a big hit. The whole village is singing. Ooh. Oh, they are, are they? Double the taxes. <laughs> Triple. Taxes. It's gonna have no subject. They're gonna leave or they're gonna die. You went to jail. Or that. Yep, I'm in here too. Sometimes ups. Feels like the king has more soldiers than actual subjects. The downs. Can't you see the tears? Everyone's taking cry. care of each other. Viva la revolution? Yes, those poor people. Look, our poor boxes like our church. Empty. It's not much, but please take it for the poor. Your last farthing? Oh, little sister. Well, it looks like I dropped by just in time. <laughs> hmm, well, what have we got here? <laughs> Now, just a minute, Sheriff. Ooh, you put that back. And His Majesty also blesses you, little sister. You thieving scoundrel! Get out of my church! Oh! Oh! Whoa! Whoa! You're under arrest for high treason to the crown. There is no one left to pay taxes. Surrounded by gold and no one likes you. Sire, the jail is full. And oh, I have good news, sir. Friar Tuck is in jail. Friar Tuck? It's Robin Hood I want! Did you say Friar Tuck? Did I? Yes, I did. I'll use that fat friar as bait to trap Robin Hood. And when our elusive hero tries to rescue the corpulent cleric. 
Points for alliteration. Will be ready. Oh my god. This this guy again. We're gonna hang Friar Tuck. No, hang fry um hang Friar Tuck. Stay in character. We can't let him hang Friar Tuck. A jailbreak tonight is the only chance he's got. A jailbreak. <laughs> They don't have the best eyesight, do they? One o'clock in old Wales. That does not say one o'clock. Everything ain't all's well. I got a feeling that my bones is gonna be a jailbreak any minute. Cram a netly trigger, point that pea shooter the other way. Uh, two o'clock? Nope. He's gonna shoot him. He's gonna poke him. Oh, wait. You go first. <laughs> Just you watch this. How could this possibly work? Be careful, Rob. How could this possibly work? Oh, shucks, Trigger. It's only nutsy. Let me loosen that bales. Rock a bye, Sheriff. Just you relax. <laughs> Oh. Wait a minute! Oh man. What does it say on the right? Little John! It can't be! Shh! John's just gonna. King John is just gonna lock them all up again, first chance he gets. He sleeps in the treasury. That checks out, actually. Slit his throat. <laughs> He's rocking himself to sleep. Uh oh. I still got a feeling that. Friar, get going. Hurry. I think you could have left the last one. Especially if th that was going to wake him up. Fall to your death. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. Yikes. On the Sherwood Forest. Stop, my baby. What? Oh, no. Crap. Slip him through. Going, don't worry about me. Yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> this time we got him for sure. That fire's getting out of hand. Out the window. We're jumping. To the moats. It's been an awful long time down there. He did it on purpose? Faking his death? He swam somewhere else. Just left his hat behind. Ah, nice. Very nice. <laughs> Oh man. A pox on the phony king of England! Your traps just never work. And now, look what you've done to your mother's castle. Mommy! Mommy! 
Hardened by order of King Richard. He's back! Ooh. The vultures still get to be free though. Oh. <laughs> wow. Friar Tuck, it appears that I now have an outlaw for an in-law. <laughs> Frickin' trigger. What are these bouncy ass arrows? Oodalali, oodalali. <laughs> well, that was fun. So this is the second Disney animation I've watched from the 70s recently, the other being the Aristocats, and they're both such chill movies. Like, I love movies that make me emotional and put me in vulnerable positions. More recent Disney films like Encanto, Raya and the Last Dragon, uh, Frozen 2, Moana, Tangled. I really enjoy them, and I'm pretty sure I cried during all of them, maybe except for Frozen 2. Though if I didn't, I definitely got close with the Dark Dark Anna song. But I also actually really enjoy movies like this and the Aristocats, where... It's like a slower pace, the stakes don't feel too high, there's not too much drama. You can kind of just meander through the world and even see the characters having fun, enjoying themselves. These movies are created for a different generation of audiences, but they're also created by a different generation of creators. And most of the Disney films I've watched come from after I was born, so I'll, I think I'll learn more about these, uh, this generation of films as I delve more into the older movies in Disney's catalogs. Uh, speaking of Aristocats though, Lil Jon is voiced by the same guy who did Thomas O'Malley, and maybe it was because he was a bear this time, it made me think of, is that the voice from the bear from the Jungle Book as well? And it turns out he is. Uh, I saw Jungle Book when I was very, very young. Uh, I remember the kid's name is Mowgli, and I remember Bear Necessities. Da, 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 da. Yeah, might be time to rewatch that as an adult, but yeah, the actor, Phil Harris, he really got a lot of work for Disney during that time period. Wow. Uh, Robin Hood and Little John work together to rob from the rich to give to the poor, and man are we in need of that kind of action nowadays. Uh, Prince John was squeezing people for all they were worth. I've never thought about how tax systems worked back in the old days, but for the sake of ease, it probably wasn't calculated as a percentage of whatever you earned. It was probably just like, you make a lot, we take all of it. You make a little, we take all of it. So when Prince John says double the tax, I don't think the people have double to give. It's just a way of saying squeeze them twice as hard. And this all was allowed to happen because the true king was led away on a crusade. I've actually forgotten most of what we learned in school about the crusades, but uh, King Richard in this film is actually based on the real King Richard. He was known as Richard the Lionheart too, so that's a nice little reference making him an actual lion. But yeah, he was hypnotized to do this by Sir Hiss. Kind of takes the responsibility off England for participating in the crusade. But yeah, Sir Hiss as a whole is a fun character. Like, you root against him while also just feeling bad for him and the way Prince John treats him. I kind of hope he would turn on Prince John, but that never winds up happening. But yeah, John... Oh no, this little thumb-sucking, overtaxing, selfish little twit. They definitely made him really unlikable to get us even more on board with Robin Hood and Lil John stealing from him. He was very, very easy to root against, as was the sheriff. And I actually really liked the love story between Robin Hood and Maid Marian. I thought it was very sweet. They fell for each other as children and still yearned for each other so many years later, even though their lives had taken them in such different directions. Kind of reminded me of past lives. And I don't think there are any other foxes in the movie though, so their dating pool might have been limited unless there's like interspecies mating. But I think they were good for each other anyway. But uh, speaking of interspecies dating, how is Marian the niece of King Richard? Is this like the colloquial aunt and uncle thing that like certain non-Western cultures do? Or did like a lion in the family marry a fox at some point? And technically if Richard is her uncle, John could also be her uncle or even her father? I'm definitely overthinking this and they're all humans in the original story and they just made them all animals for this film but I, th I thought it was fun to think about. I uh, really enjoyed the disguises that Robin Hood pulled. Uh, there was that freaking stork during that archery tournament. That was great. Very well done. And him playing this blind old beggar, avoiding all suspicion. I've seen that disguise in memes before. I didn't even realize it was from this film, and it was fun to see the origin of that. The Phony King of England is a pretty catchy song. Uh, made its way to Prince John's ears, and yeah, really liked the music in this film. And it was a nice change of pace watching a low-pressure film. I'll remember to watch some older Disney animations whenever I need something like chill. Though I'm 
just making that assumption off of the Aristocats and this, I mean, what if I watch Lady and the Tramp expecting a pleasant film and it turns out to be like one of them dies at the end or something? Oh my god, that would be terrible. All right, I'm going to give this movie a 7.5. Thanks for watching. Check out the full reaction on Patreon. Leave a like and I'll see you guys soon with more. Bye, friends.